that kind of thing breakthroughs. Um, so actually, uh, this is a little, I don't know if everybody believes in this, but uh, someone said, um, someone who reads my horoscopes, uh, someone had done voodoo. That's why I was having a lot of problems. And also Kalabhairava said it in Varanasi 2014. So only because of Swamiji, I was able to get over all of that. Uh, it was like a lot of problems, but he got me through all of that. And I'm attending every IA. So that's all I don't know. Any questions? And each time it's much more than I expect. And he gives exactly what you need. It's mm -hmm. much more. Than Ramina, I have a question for you. So in 2014, yeah. how exactly you, I will tell the other half, <laughs> you made it very simple. I'll tell you the other half. But how the first half of the amount, how did you pay? Did you serve? I know we did Kalpataru meditation, which we still host this year also. It's a meditation to manifest your reality, a science that Swamiji shared with all of us so that we can manifest whatever we want in our life. So Ma, Meena, myself, and uh, total seven of us, including myself, every day when I'm doing meditation, everyone also will join in the audio, call, audio conference. We all will sit. After the meditation, we all will write on what action we're going to take for today to manifest uh, this, um, that time of Shivoham. How literally you charged my, was it a card? Was it a loan? Was it a gift? How was it? How did you get the funding? I had, I had half the money in the bank, so I paid it. I wasn't, that time I wasn't ready to just pay the money from the bank. It was getting, I didn't, like, I wasn't ready to do it. But of course, every time it's the best decision that uh, I've ever made is to attend any IA. Great. So Ma Meena, actually, it's, I am, um, she works very hard, really. But her decision wanting to come is the one made her to be able to come. When she went to work, the other half, how it happened. When she went to work, she came back. Actually, the other, how she was fully caused. Her whole tuition was fully paid. Do you remember, Ma? Yes, Ma. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, there, was a, there was one person who wanted to come to Inner Awakening at that time, December 2014. He paid for his son and the son decided not to go. So he came to know Mamina is um, needing some financial support. So he sent us an email in writing, please transfer this fund to her. So she went to work. When she come back, it's already paid off for her. <laughs> That's what power of cosmos when you do everything you can she literally did everything she the last penny that she had sh saving she put by the time she came back she was all fully cost and she went out of the way the person who gave she made uh, an agreement saying that i will pay you off but uh, give me uh, they were in agreement of flexible time and with obviously no interest more like a friend's supporting hmm? so it is her space not uh, like this days, obviously, we don't ask among Sangha member. You're not allowed to. But she did not even ask. He came to know. By the time she came back from work, she discovered it. It was a surprise for her. Okay. Um, that's one. How? Was, what, Ma? I thought I was not going, even though I had booked my tickets. Because I didn't have a credit history. I didn't know what to do. But yeah, it was, literally, it was a miracle. The meditation, but I was sure my you were going. <laughs> that I'm being a causer. <laughs> yeah, um, Ma Prabha, like I was really hesitating um, to whether to use the credit card or not, and then I just got a message from her that said, uh, "Just uh, message me when you're fully caused." And I don't know what that message had in it, but within the next five minutes, I was caused. <laughs> Oh, wow. I know that. <laughs> Forgotten. Great, Ma. So, year 2015, how did you manifest the fund? You already have now 2014 IA to pay off to a friend. And you have finished all your savings and you have a family to support, your son in college. How did you pay off and how did you manifest your 2015 funds? December. So again, I was able to pay half of it and then I borrowed from people. 
um, which was very, 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 very hard for me because I just, I don't like that. But that also uh, just brings to the point that Swamiji does whatever um, you need to do to complete with some pattern. Just getting there is some huge completion. Um, it does huge things just to get there. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you borrowed means um, you borrowed, you ask, call and ask your friends or family, how did you find out who can you get the money? I think I just started calling everyone that I knew and like little bit from so many people. Okay, ma. Okay. How, how did you pay off your I fees because now you have your commitment income is not big you have a family to support how did you pay off and then again you many going again and then paying off again again <laughs> how is this happening because when you come back you have much more energy and much better cognition than when you went and it seems like a very small amount to pay off it just happens very quickly okay ma i understand the context is see uh your cognition, the way we view life before and after inner awakening, Shivoham or Maha Sadashivam will be completely different. Yes. It's like a born blind man suddenly getting a vision. How his life will be transformed. It's like that. So, yes, Ma, I always feel when we are putting money for inner awakening, it's like putting a seed in the ground. It's not the seed is going away, but the seed is going to give more fruit, actually. So money for inner awakening is taking us out of this poverty consciousness and making us to allow to attract you no know, space of Lakshmi and manifest more and more wealth. And interesting enough, each time people go to inner awakening, they'll have this money problem. But each time, again, if you ask them, they have attended four or five inner awakening. And the inner awakening fee is only going higher and higher. That shows how space able to manifest, ma. Right? Yeah. So how did you pay off for your 2016 inner awakening, ma? Uh, December program. Yeah. So I was in the Adinam at that time, attending Nityananda Yoga, and I was having a lot of issues. And uh, we were sitting in a group, and I was for sure thought I was not going. I think everyone was caused, but me, and everyone was focusing on me. But I had no clue what to do. And then I asked in Akashic reading, um, Kalabhairava kept saying, uh, your father will pay for it. At that time, I was in contact with my father and mother, and they said, no way, we are going to support this and all that. So I didn't know what to do. Then um, Ma Tripura was all, she's a Balasan. She was also in the group. She said, uh, what about your jewelry? And I was like, no, I don't want to touch that jewelry. But then I got a blessing from Swamiji, um, the Dal the Avatar. I was sitting outside in the from the courtyard. He was in the courtyard, so it was kind of very funny. But then I got a blessing from him. He said, "You'll make it." Um, then something happened in me. Some cognition shifted, and I just went to Chennai and I, I sold that jewel and I made it. But a lot of completion happened with selling that. So. Just the way you get it is, it also helps you so much. So he'll make you get it the way you're supposed to get it. Like he'll make you do what you need to do. So and then this year, how did you manifest your funds? This time I just used my card. That's all. Um, I just accepted the office that just kept coming. Mm. Okay, I hadn't accepted all this time, so but like I said, but after I did it, I feel much lighter than before I, I did it. So, what why are you keep going to this inner awakenings? What is the reality? There's a lot of new people in this program, okay. right? In the here listening to you. I mean, to the point you're taking loan, borrowing money, charging on your card, selling jewelry. I, why is that to that extent? What is it that you're gaining, Ma? My life has turned around 360 degrees, Ma. Um, like when I grew up, like my parents were very religious. 
with bhakti path and i used to do puja with them but after i got married i never did puja and uh, it was like i it was i was really like yearning for it so after coming to swami ji each contact i've had with him it just helped me so much so now my whole day is totally different i get up i wake up with yoga i used to drink 14 cups of coffee i don't have any coffee now rarely i'll have green tea or maybe this masala tea just for pleasure i don't need it so i wake up with yoga and then i do my kriyas and i do my puja in the evening because i don't have time in the morning but i do it every single day i listen to satsang the group the the sangha members here they are like they all have like higher ideals and just the people i'm surrounded with is so amazing and literally i'm living like how he says work uh, that from gita i don't know the sanskrit like all the time you should be working and it's like before i used to be like i i love to cook but i'll be like i need a break but now i don't need a break from anything like i just work and i love working and i don't need a vacation <laughs> vacation so that's just like a small thing it's much more than that like he supports you all the time the atma murti is here i can ask a question it will get answered so there is a recent sort of a, like i consider this a miracle so swami he said you can like we can't have onions and garlic but i love onions i just love onions so but i gave it up so i was at uh, ma lakshmi's house she was hosting a program so the atma murti was there and i was telling swami ji i gave up onions because of you i love onions and we talked about it so much so after that i came home and about 3 days later i came home and uh, there was a huge horrible smell i live in an apartment complex so it was all mixed with garbage and onions so it was unbearable and i told everybody it's ter- terrible somebody has not thrown away their garbage and everybody said no we don't smell anything but i could smell it it was really horrible and then finally it went away i think after 3 or 4 hours but 3 days after that at work somebody brought raw onion usually when i smell it i'll have like a craving it's like i have to like control myself i can't have onions and all that but this time when i smell the raw onions i felt like vomiting <laughs> now i don't want onions now so he takes care of you in like such as i mean like he doesn't have to be so compassionate he's so compassionate when you connect with him he just like he's like a child baby like he just responds to you like very intelligent child so that's the most recent thing thank you man thank you for sharing um Anything you want to say to these new people who want to go? They're having definitely some obstacles, financial obstacles, mainly. And yeah. um, yes, anything you want to say? Yeah, just do everything to get there because your life will just go up so many levels, and it's very subjective. You will also be just like anybody else. You might go to a Walmart and you will be in the checkout line, but your cognitions and your insight will be very different. Um, just don't postpone it if you're if you're here it's because you're already in his radar but it's your will that he can't override your will it's his ethics as an enlightened being or an avatar although he can do anything so you just have to use your will and just get there just don't postpone because you're just postponing so many good things don't postpone that's what i'll say 